Francina, we're talking princess, and we're up close and personal today doing just a little bit of crafting. I've been working on this diamond painting for a couple weeks, just in tidbits here and there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to film it from two different angles, and then I'll splice some film together for you, and we'll see what diamond painting is all about. I don't know if any of you have any interest in this. I know there's at least one person that requested this, so here we are. And um, on this side, I've got my telephone, and it's filming downward angle to see what we're doing. The picture that I've been working on is four seasons, and so four trees, and I have most of it done, but um, if you're looking at it, just this, this end, I have like two more color groups to do. So let's talk about some of the tools. First of all, everything you see here in front of me is a gift. Uh, my aunt gave me a big set of things for my birthday and Christmas, and then I got some uh, a set of tools from the Wounded Warrior Project as well. And this kit also came from Wounded Warrior Project. So kits normally come with the painting itself, which if you look really closely, I know you're not going to see very well from back there, but each color that you see on here is a different number, and there's a legend right here. So it tells you which color goes in which spot, and you just one by one put the little crystal things in the place. So it's color by number. No um, creativity required, really, just patience and tediousness. Um, but it comes with the item itself. It comes with all of the colors that you need for the little beads. And it usually will come with one of these little tools, probably just like this. It's just a little stylet, and I'll show you how to use it in just a second. Um, so the kit that my aunt gave me had a couple different ones. You can do multiples. So you can see that has, and I can't see it very well, a wider, like a rake. And so you can do a whole bunch of them at once. Yeah, I just find that I have a hard, hard time lining them up. You can do like two or three on a smaller multiple. You can do four or five on here. So they're all different. Um, and there you go. But my aunt got me this custom one. And, hi Kelly, come on, come on. Yeah, she's, <laughs> more attention for the hound, I know. Okay, come on. So, this one, it's a single, and this end is actually not a multiple. It's a straight edge, it's not sharp or anything, but it's just plastic. And it's great to help you line up the little beads. Sometimes, you know, if you don't get them quite right, and you can just kind of push them over with that. So that's a great tool. Um, the other tool that I got is the same thing, but it's it's a much bigger edge, so you can line them up. You just kind of gently go like that down the rows, and you do it in the perpendicular line as well, and you can just kind of get them lined up because, you know, we're all anal retentive, and they have to be perfectly aligned, right? Um, and then when it's all done, you can also use this little roller and push them on so that they're really seated well onto the sticky bottom, Okay. So that's that. It also, the kits will come with a little tray that you put the beads in and then you shake it around and the little, um, the little lines will help the, the beads line up. This one is a different one that my aunt gave me. Um, but you see the beads in there and you just kind of shake it and they line up in the rows, which I can't tilt it too much, but you can kind of see so that you want them heads up. So that's the idea. Whew, just got out of the shower. Um, this stuff that you see in front of me is like when you're using them, you're changing colors, maybe you have multiple colors in an area, then you can put them in these little bottles to work multiple colors. So I got this little tray from my aunt, so you can do multiples at once. I also got this tray from her as well, it's a different one, but same idea. Um, and then from Wounded Word Project, I actually got this little box of things and it came with labels and it's really easy if you get your kit and you put all your beads in here then it's easy to get in and out of them and they're still labeled with what you need. Um, if you look at the legend actually I found out those numbers are universal so if you have another kit and you are short of beads and you had extras from a different kit you can you know they're interchangeable if you have the, the same number. So let's talk about how we actually do it. Okay, we'll move this out of the way so you don't need that. So what you need is your little stylus thing, and then it comes with wax. Um, this little wax 
thing was from a previous kit, but still good. So you push, push your um, style, and I'll show you over here a little closer angle. And you kind of move it around so that you get the wax in the tip of it. And then you want to keep your wax closed and you only want to pull the plastic off of the area that you're working on because you don't want the sticky to not be sticky anymore. Um, also, I got this little light board, which again was a gift, part of the kits, but um, you turn it on so it's a, a, just an LED light board and you put it underneath and it makes it so, so much easier to see what the numbers and letters are so you don't strain your eyes quite as much. So um, then what you do is you just peel back the plastic coating, so there's this little plastic sheet on it, you pull it off of the sticky part, and just, just enough to work on the area that you're working on. Since I'm at the end and there's just one area left, I can pull it all the way back out of the way so that I don't have to keep flipping it up and down. And then you take the tray, you can put it anywhere. I'm just going to put it right here. And I'm working on E, which is this black color. And you just take the stylus tip and tap it to it. And then the bead is on there. And then you touch it to the sticky paper and it just sticks. And if there's any wax residue, you can just move it with your fingers. And that's all you do is you just simply plink, plink, plink. Just a lot of plinking and it's that easy. But they come out really neat. So I'm just gonna keep working on this and And that's it. I have completed it. So you just look and make sure there's no holes that are unfilled. And you can see I still have the plastic on it. So I'm going to turn off the light and move it out of the way. Just a minute, Kelly. She wants to help me. Come on. Okay. You're a big help. You know that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Up. Okay. So now. I'm just going to take it, since I've kind of aligned everything as I went, it's good enough for now anyways. Leave the plastic, which is now no longer sticking to the sheet because everything's filled. And I'm just going to leave it on there because if there's any residual wax, I don't want it to get all over my roller. But I'm on a hard table, so I'm just going to kind of roll on top of the plastic and just kind of make sure they're all seated on there nice and evenly. Just kind of cover the whole the whole thing and I'm not moving the beads I'm just seating them firmly down if that makes sense um, and so you just kind of there's no set thing so I just want to make sure and I've done some of this as I went along actually and I just really want to make sure they're stuck on there I don't know if there's like a finishing spray to seal these on or if the adhesive degrades over time. I am new to this, so I don't know that, but I'm sure there must be something to like a finishing, I don't know, seal or something besides this. But this is what I know for now. I did my first one right before Christmas. It was Eeyore and I framed it and gave it to my sister for Christmas. And this one is now going to be somewhere in my house after I get framed. That's just sticking to the edge. But that is complete. I'll show it in both directions so you can kind of see in the sparklies. Yeah, so that's a diamond painting. All done. Kind of cool. I like the aspen, I think. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.